nice uh, hello to all of you. Uh, thank you very much that I'm invited to give my view on the field of water and wastewater and what great development possibilities are there, especially for the young generation, because this is a sector who is really developing in a great way. Uh, I prepared a little uh, presentation also that I can give you some examples. Now I try to uh, share my screen and then I hope you will uh, see my uh, uh, presentation. Is it fine? Do you see my presentation? Yes, I think so. Okay. Um, can I get a short answer? Is it uh, okay with my presentation? Everybody can see it. Probably yes. yes. Otherwise, okay, super. So future in water, what is the job perspective for it? My name is Peter Hartwig. Uh, um, I, I give you a short word. I'm coming from uh, University of Hannover. I was studying there. Um, first, my idea was to go to harbor logistics and harbor uh, structural design. So my idea was a civil engineer to work for harbors. But then I recognized during my studies how interesting is the field of environmental protection. So when there was a development, I switched to this area and I'm happy about this. During my studies, I could do some internships in uh, international environment projects in different countries. That was very uh, helpful for me also to have a view from outside from other countries to my country to see what is happening where and to develop myself. Then I was able to make this, uh, get to position as PhD for sanitary engineering. I was uh, caring about uh, uh, biological uh, and uh, wastewater treatment. And then since 25 years, I uh, have a consulting office with uh, around uh, 70 people in total now. Um, and we are working just in the field of environmental protection and I'm lecturer in university. And it's very helpful for me to stay in exchange with young staff and to exchange the ideas. And I see also what, what good development I see and what interest in the, in the youth in this field. Um, so the field where I'm working in is this industrial and municipal wastewater, um, biogas uh, projects, also solid waste management. But today we are looking for water and wastewater sector. So that is the main, one of the main points. So, what I love in my job in this water and wastewater projects, why, why I think it's so interesting for me, for me personally. Uh, it's a job where you every time are working in a good field. You, it, it doesn't matter where you are working, for which company you are working, in which country you are working, um, you do something which is good for environment. It is a technically very interesting and challenging uh, job not only for engineers, also for operators, for mechanicians, for electricians, a lot of stuff. Also the people who are caring about the financing. So it's not limited to engineers. I'm an engineer, but there's a much wider field where people can, who are interested in environmental protection can go into the sector and be part of the big development. And for me, it's very interesting that we are working in teams which are with different, uh, let's say, uh, uh, subjects like civil engineering, biology, chemistry, uh, all comes together. There are national and international projects, of course, and there's a lot of communication and, and interesting uh, things. So that is what, uh, for me, is uh, very interesting in this water, wastewater, and environmental sector. There are also there are difficulties and the main difficulty is it's too, too interesting. So you have to be careful with your work time and your free time, family, friends, sports, music, whatever you do. So if you love your job, it's very good, but you have to be careful not to spend too much time in it. And what is the development? I think from the presentations you heard before, everybody who's taking part here already knows about the importance of environmental protection, about the effects of climate change, how much work has to be done in, uh, in countries where already infrastructure is there, but also there where infrastructure has to be developed. 
And all of you will be aware about the importance of the resource water. Without water, there is no life, there is no development, there is no industries. And the people then have to leave that areas where are no water or where is not sufficient water, not water in the right water quality. So that is an element of development, of health, of economy, of uh, life quality. This also do this all has to do with uh, good, clean, safe water. Here's an example for this climate change and the rainfall intensity. So there is a real change. We have a lot of research projects about this. And we, uh, the statistics also clearly say that there are very short but very strong rainfalls that gives flooding where never have been floodings. Some months ago, there was a flooding in Hannover. There was a hospital for young children. And suddenly the, there was during operation, rainwater comes through the hospital, the, through the operation room. Never it happens before because during climate change, we have much stronger rain. A lot of work is there to be done. There are a lot of wastewater treatment plants already existing like this one is also from Moldova. So there's a lot of work to rehabilitate wastewater treatment plants to clean the water before it goes to the river, before it can be recycled for irrigation, before it can be uh, used even in closed loops for industrial purposes or in some countries, you know, it's even used again for drinking water. It's possible. All technologies are there. Only we have to decide to invest in. There are new wastewater treatment plants to be built and there is a chance really to integrate the new technologies and new ideas which are there. And this is an example for Strassen. Before we already had, uh, from Juliana, we had from a photo from Strassen. There we had the chance to make a concept for that what we say, what is a state of art wastewater treatment plant. So it's today we plan wastewater treatment plants that they don't need um, electricity, they produce their own electricity. And how is this possible in this concept? You see on the left side down, wastewater treatment system that is a specific compact technology which we developed and built in India and some other place already. And on the right side, you see solid waste. And these things are coming together, wastewater and solid waste. Because in the solid waste, there is so much energy and also the sludge, which is from wastewater production, also there is energy. If you put it together, you can solve the solid waste problem, which is a big problem in Strassen, and you can solve the problem of wastewater treatment. So there are a lot of interesting uh, projects here. You see the uh, uh, town hall of uh, Strassen, and there was a, a television something uh, presentation of the concept. And also there's industrial wastewater. A lot of industrial wastewater is, uh, has to be treated. Like here in uh, Asconi Winery, there's a big European budget, 180 million euro for environmental projects in fruit of, uh, area in Moldova, like winery. And here we had the chance to get a job by European Union to prepare projects. We did it. Now it's under construction. So the wastewater, which comes from this uh, winery, wine is very tasteful from Asconi, by the way, uh, will be treated completely. We did it in the last years. Now it's ready, September 22. There will be a big inauguration, so startup event. Even your president will come there. So and that is, that is uh, uh, great to be part of such a development and to follow up this project from the beginning. That's why it's a special thing if you are thinking, what are you doing? But if you are, can follow a project from the beginning for a first meeting in Asconi to see what the situation is there, then to develop all the technical things until it's realized and you, you are there and then it's treated, the wastewater is clean. It's uh, just very uh, fulfilling job. And it doesn't matter in which function you are there, 
whether you make the drawings as a draftsman, whether you are an engineer, we are, you are an electrician who fix all the cables for the projects, but you are part of this development of this environmental protection. And that is quite, uh, quite, qu quite good uh, activity. So there are a lot of, just, just an example, huh? there are a lot of other projects. Also, this is a thing which is uh, really under development. It's also from Moldova. We have a very good uh, sugar factory the northern part and there is a good biogas production. So we, you know, in view to climate change, it's uh, important to look for energy reduction for CO2 and for recirculation of um, water, of uh, solid waste components and so on. So recycling is a very important point and CO2 footprint to uh, reduce the bad impacts of our activities to, to the climate. And so it's a very good step to have a biogas production from the uh, residues uh, from the water, wastewater, which comes from the sugar factory. And so the, there, is, uh, there are more projects in the pipeline in Moldova and a lot of qualified stuff is required to plan, to realize and to operate later and to optimize the plants. So that is one of the main, uh, main, main uh, tasks really also to prepare the people for this technical components that they can be operated in the best way. That is very important. There is one part is the investment, other part is the operation. So we make a lot of training courses, for example, in, we have a separate uh, training center in Croatia where we trained already around 200 people from wastewater treatment plants, how to optimize the, opti the optimization, how to have the best uh, results and so on. So there are a lot of different fields in this water and wastewater to clean it, but also to care about the residues. Future in water, that is uh, for me a clear thing because the importance uh, of good water quality for the development and health, economically growth, life quality is quite clear for all of you. There's a lack of clean water, there's a lack of uh, uh, treatment facilities, uh, and there's, uh, let's say, a lot of uh, future work to be done. And there are a lot of new developments, which uh, if you're starting now or in the next five years in this field, you will be part of this new development. One already we said, energy energy use. So we try to, to re use all the energy which is in the residues in the wastewater to have this energetic autark plants to, to really use this energy source. Then the recycling of the purified water for agriculture, for industry, even it might be for drinking water. For drinking water, we do it indirectly. For example, in Berlin, we are involved in projects in Berlin Berlin is a quite compact city with a lot of water demand. There, the wastewater is treated perfectly, including, for example, taking out the pharmaceutical residues. Then the water is uh, given to a river. And beside a river, circa 300 meter beside a river, there's a well. And then the water goes out of the river to this well. During the way, during the soil, it is cleaned. And then it's recycled again for drinking water for the people in Berlin. And if you calculate the factor, then each drop is recycled 15 times before it goes away with the river. That is what I say is uh, indirect recycling for drinking water. And that is used in a big scale. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to cover this water demands which we have in the big cities. And this will be very important in the future. And the, there are a lot of nutrients, phosphorus, nitrogen in the wastewater. So there are strategies how to use it in the best way. For example, to take out the phosphorus from the ashes if you have burned the sewage sludge. And they are further a little more advanced in research stage in university we are involved here, especially in, for example, in uh, Tartu in Estonia, we, have, uh, we are involved in some projects uh, I have a company there in Baltics. Uh, production of 
biological plastic from wastewater. So we can train the bacteria, we can select bacteria which are able to produce biological plastic. And that will be the future. So my idea, my vision is, but that is only in 20 years, that the water, wastewater is seen as a valuable thing where you don't have to pay for the waste, whether you're happy to get it because you can make a lot of valuable products from it, like biological plastic, you can re reuse the energy, you can reuse phosphorus and nitrogen. So there are a lot of visions also in which way it goes, there are long, big developments. And so what is very important that there are really wonderful, interesting tasks and a lot of good stuff is needed just people who, who have the idea it is helpful, it is good to um, work in this field, who, who, who love to work in this field, for them there will be enough work at uh, never ending work. Just important is to have the, the, the idea, the vision to be part of this development, to be part of the environmental protection. So that is what I wanted to tell you from my experience, from my view, why I think it's a uh, good field where I uh, said uh, the presentation name of my presentation is future in water because there is a great future for all who are working uh, in this field of water and wastewater water recycling. Okay, thanks for your attention. Happy to get some questions from you. Thank you very much for the presentation and for the information that was provided in the light of the experience uh, that you have got. And also thank you very much, much for accepting our invitation, as well as your participation in various projects is also very valuable in such a way that the information and all the knowledge that you have got in this field could be applied uh, as well as to benefit from this joint effort. I would like to give you a question. When we speak about uh, managing and handling the wastewater as well as the water resources in the Republic of Moldova. So the question is, what are the vulnerabilities? Because uh, the situation as it is in Moldova and we understand the importance of the water for Moldova. So what can be the peak of that uh, spirit of the emotions that we have to live in uh, from the point of view of using the wastewater? Correctly. Mm -hmm. um, I think first point is if water is used and polluted, then it is clear that this water should be cleaned before it is, if, is, is given back to nature. Otherwise, it's difficult. So you get the water from groundwater, which is very purified water, or you get it from a river, and the river hopefully is also more or less purified. You use it, you pollute it, and before you give it back, it should be cleaned. For example, it should be not too hot to give like, biological problems for the small fish in the river. Temperature should be okay. Chemical parameters should be okay. Physical parameters should be okay. So this is one first task. And I think it's clear that it's our obligation to do it. I know that there is uh, financing for it required. So, uh, industries, uh, for industries, it costs money, but the pressure is there, the laws are there, they have to do it. And also for the um, uh, municipality, for the individual persons, it should be clear that that wastewater, what is produced by all of us, should be cleaned. And it is clear that it's also uh, that we have to pay for it, that it costs money. This cannot be for free because it's... Uh, uh, technical investment and operation costs. So just as our acceptance that we have to care about the water and that we have to pay for each cubic meter of water an amount which is covering the costs which are required to clean it. This is one basic um, agreement the society should have. Thank you once again. In your presentation, so you mentioned the following, that climate changes are taking place worldwide 
on the globe and in this natural circuit with all the elements so that represent the env environment of today be it air water soil so what is the percentage of water out of this uh, circuit of nature which might might also influence and generate this climate change i understand that water is not the only element but it has a certain kind of share in this climate change we would like to understand to what extent our engagement or lack of engagement might generate some consequence consequences in terms of climate changes in the light of how water is managed mm -hmm. uh, the direct impact of the climate change you see that in some areas there is flooding where never was the flooding so there is a risk in cities that areas are full parking houses uh, whatever are full uh, with water where never before was uh, water so we have developed or it, it, it have been developed specific new methods to uh, try to to understand what are really the processes so for example with a drone we're going over an area then we have a model a digital model of the surface we then we let artificial rain and we see which area is flooded and what we have to do how we have to change the surface of the road or whatever that we can reduce the risks which are there that is a very direct impact which all of us see second there in some areas there is a lack of water at, in average so there's just not enough water anymore so it's uh, important to adapt these areas for example in the agricultural fields there's a lot of, there are a lot of problems so how the method of agricultural management can be adapted to this new situation how new water sources could be developed for example now there are working groups which are uh, really care intensively about the recirculation from uh, cleaned wastewater back to agriculture after complete cleaning and then to use it in agriculture for uh, support the growing of the plants. So let's say this is what is directly impacted by the uh, climate change to the environmental area. So we apologize, I would like to come with the last question. So we might, you might give a mathematical answer, but it would give us a more clear understanding, a clear concept about what is climate change and about this expression of climate change, which is often used in the public space. And here's my question. So what is the speed? What is the velocity? What is the pace of climate changes? changes? because I'm not sure what is the unit of measurement uh, for this climate change, but I would like to have an assessment or a measurement maybe in figures or maybe in some benchmarks, whether this climate change, if it is not managed or handled correctly, it might bring to some major consequences and harmful and unpleasant one. Is that true? Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a look to the hydrology, to rainwater, for example, what is the change in the rainwater? So the rainfall is a little different from year to year. So if you have a look only to one year, it's a little unclear answer. You have at least to take five years. So what we are doing, we take a, a range of five years, which were 10 years ago. And what is the change in this period of five year, years? And then we are looking for what I uh, said before about this high intensity rain events under specific conditions. And there still we see that there is a, a curve which is going quickly up. So let's say there is still a further ongoing impact on the climate change to this one specific parameter of rain intensity, which is quite relevant for our uh, municipal infrastructure design. But it's quite difficult to answer it in detail because we need just five years. Five years is in view to climate change quite long. But as I said, if you have a look for rainfall only one year, statistically not right. So we have to wait a little how it's developing, but still it's going on and it's still going into the wrong direction. 
Thank you very much for giving us these realistic uh, figures as well. Thank you very much for accepting our invitation to participate and be part of this uh, event of, the, of these two editions. And we would like to wish you a very fruitful day and a very clean environment and nature. Of course, with our joint contribution and of your contribution would be able to accomplish this sustainability. Thank you.